Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and I've been asked by a couple of people to look into the new Daisy Halloween event for 2023. And it's a little bit of a complicated one to do this one, because it's not just a case of turning on one event in your events.xml. It's a kind of a combination of things that come together that you can kind of see in this graphic from Bohemian Interactive themselves. So you kind of... Um, as you can see at the bottom, you get the spooky effect on a lot of the castles, kind of this mist, and there's some different sounds as well. Um, the mummy-type infected start to spawn in as well. They're the ones that are hard to kill and kind of glow in the dark. I think this witch is new that can spawn in. Um, you get this goat with the red eyes <laughs> that kind of explodes in in, uh, in, a, in a cloud of blood. In fact, what I'll do is I'll, in the description below this video, I'll do a link to Wobo's video about it because he shows you some of these things. Um, you get this infected who's got a jack-o'-lantern on the head. Um, jack-o'-lanterns are really cool, though, because uh, you can use them as night vision. Um, and I think I don't think that's a new one, the vicar zombie. And I think this this lady or this fella here is just showing you the stuff that you can get. You know, the the cauldron, and there's this new mask as well, and the fact that you know you can dress up as a as a mummy as well. So how do you how do you do this on your your local server? Or your sorry, your your community server as well. Well, what you need to do is you need to get yourself over to Bohemian Interactive's official Daisy GitHub repository, and this has all the mission files in. And what we're looking for is these ones down here, Halloween.Chernerus Plus and Halloween.Enoch, Enoch being the code word for Livonia. And as you can see here, they've been updated. I'm recording this video on the 18th of October, and they were updated 11 hours ago, which means they've got the new files in. Um, so what you want to do is you click on this little uh, button here, and you go Download Zip. And then you want to download the whole thing, and you'll end up with this. It's quite, it's quite a large file, um, Daisy Central Economy Master. And you'll want to... Um, uh, extract the files and you end up with this file here folder which has got all of them in and I highly recommend you then copy that somewhere onto your hard drive um, like I've done here and I have a I keep it as uh, 122 vanilla so I won't edit these files I keep them as a reference for when I modify my files so you've always got access to the original files and then if you go in here you'll then find you can scroll down and you go to Halloween.Chernerus Plus for example so we've got all the mission files um, now, what you need to do is, if you want to install this on your community server, these are all the files that change. Now, you're going to ignore init.c if you're on console, because we don't have access to init.c. But basically, to get it to work, all you need to do is go um, into your web browser, say, for example, in Nitrado here. Um, go into your server's dashboard, go into the file browser, go into the mission folder, and then just upload the relevant files over the top of the existing ones. Now, what you'll want to do to start off with is download your existing files and keep them safe so that you can turn off this uh, this event, you know, after Halloween, you know, after the end of October. And you just upload all of these files over the top of the existing ones. Um, so you've got area flags map, CFG effect area JSON, that's the spooky effect, CFG limits definition, random presets, spawnable types. Obviously, spawnable types is gonna make um you know the different infected zombies spawn with their different things. In fact, if we take a look at that now, we can probably if we do a search for which there we go. So we can see that the priest zombie has a chance of spawning with a witch it is black. My next, there's a milkmaid. Yeah, there we go. So, the the milkmaid um, infected. <laughs> she <laughs> she also has a chance of spawning with the crooked nose and the witch's hood. So she's so she's the witch that way. Um, so you would upload these on top of your existing files, and then you've got your DB, which has got your economy, events, globals, and types. Um, and then you've got your ENV, which is your wolf territories. And your zombie territories, not quite sure why the, I guess zombie territories have been updated because of the um, the mummy type zombie and the witch type zombie. So that's all been updated. So back up your, the files that you've got in your server and, and then upload these on top of them. Now, but what you'll probably be saying then is you'll be saying, well, what happens if you've got modified files? So if, for example, you've got a modified types.xml that has got loads of boosted loot in, for example, or you've got a modified CFG um, spawnable, spawnable types.xml that's got lots of things that make loot spawn in pristine. 
Well, that's where it gets a little bit complicated. I'm not I'm not going to go into I'm not going to go into it here. But what you'd have to do is using something like Notepad++ and the compare plugin, you'd compare the vanilla 122 files, the non-Halloween ones, with the Halloween ones, see what the changes are, and then just do the changes on your particular modified XML files. Then upload those, restart your server, and they will start firing in. However, maybe this is this is my advice what this is what i would do is if i was going to put these on my community servers for, for console or pc what i would do is i would back up my existing xml's first so i would download them to my local pc so they're in a safe place so they're ready to be re-uploaded when i want this um, event to finish and then what i would do is i would just upload these existing ones over the top of my modified files and then just re restart the server. Now, that what that would do is that would make when my new stuff spawns in, say for example, I've got a server where everything spawns in pristine. Well, it means stuff isn't going to be spawning in pristine, but only it's only going to be for less than two weeks anyway. Um, that that's going to be happening, but it's going to be a lot easier than trying to go into every single file, see what the changes are, and upload those changes. Um, and then when those two weeks are over, I then go back to my original XMLs after Halloween's finished, and I upload those over the top of these Halloween XMLs, restart my server, and then everything will um, go back to the way it was. And remember, pretty much soon after Halloween, we're going to be getting update 2.23 anyway. Is it update 2.23? Up, up sorry, one, yeah, 1.23 one, we'll be getting, won't we? Um, so we're going to have some different files to upload anyway. But that's how I would do it. If I wanted all these different things to happen on my particular server, I would go to the GitHub repository, download the uh, Halloween files, make a backup of my edited XMLs and JSONs, upload the Halloween files over the top, restart my server, and then when I wanted it to finish, I would do that. Um, but the more advanced people out there, the more advanced modders out there, you can compare the files, take the changes and then install the changes themselves. Okay, so I'll put a link to the GitHub repository in the description below this video. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, when I get more time, what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll make a list of all the extra bits that have been added and how you can add them into your existing server. So for example, if you want the goats with the red eyes to spawn all of the time, then, <laughs> then we'll do them. Or maybe I'll do some files where the goats with the red eyes will only spawn inside castles or something like that. What do you what do you reckon? Maybe maybe we'll do something like that. Anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have it, like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.